We're now going to get a sample of this color, and we're going to use this sample to take the Sherman Williams, and we're going to get an exact match. So the way I like to do it is I have just a regular knife, and what you're going to do, generally don't want to do it at eye level, because that's where most people are going to be looking. So I'm going to go down here, and I'm not going to go all the way through the drywall. I'm just going to cut off the very top surface. It's almost like a tape. And I just sort of slowly work it out so that I still have sheetrock in the wall. I just want to get that top color. I'm going to take this to Sherwin-Williams and get a match. Sheetrock mud, all purpose, and I just get a big glob and I'll rub it on. I'm sure there are neater ways of doing this. Okay, I'm on my way to Sherwin Williams. I bet my face does not look good this close to the camera. Okay. Okay, I am leaving Sherwin Williams. I just got my four gallons of Promar 200 flat. And for the closet, I'm gonna do a little bit of touch up in the closet. I got Property Solutions. This is not the high quality, but we don't really need it for a closet. Um, what else I wanted to show you? Right here is the match. So, can you see the match on there? So he painted the match on the very edge over here. So that's going to look good enough that when we put it on the walls, you, you won't be able to see it. Let's head back. Okay guys, I'm back in the house. And as if you remember, this is where I took the sample out of the wall. And this was where the hole was. So, uh, so I went and got my Sherwin Williams match. They took this little piece, they did a match, and now let's see if it blends in the wall. I want you to get an idea of what everything looks like on this wall. There's some drawing, some pencil marks, there's the hole, and here we go. All right, let's hope for the magic to work. how good the match goes in. So I will let this dry and we'll come back to it. Okay, let's jump ahead a little bit. I just want to show you this because when you do paint initially your paint on the wall, you can see that that has not been painted. I hope you can see this, but right now the paint is darker than, it, than the wall. My contention is that as it dries, it will fade away. So, we will wait. We will wait. I am a little concerned about this line. I wonder if I'm going to need to it.
guys. Was that fun to watch me paint? <laughs> so what you notice is I have not painted the whole wall. By not painting the wall, I don't have to charge as much money. Is it absolutely perfect? You probably could go in and find some errors. This isn't a high quality paint job. This is a touch up job. And we're going to let this dry. And I guarantee it, it'll look great. It'll look good enough for a rental property that you're going to rent over and over and over. While we're waiting on this paint to dry, I wish you could see it better, let's zoom into the kitchen. So uh, on this kitchen here, we did touch up paint. And if you get in close, you can see it's not an exact match with everything. So I'm just going to go in with a brush and feather it in. What you're seeing here is I painted it with the roller last night, or yesterday. And today I'm just going to get my little brush, and I'm going to fade it in. And it is a little awkward painting with a brush and holding the camera. I hope you appreciate it. <laughs> All right. We're gonna have to... All right. Let's just kind of we're going to fill in this place now. And this is the after of the kitchen touch-up paint. So you can see how good it does look now. The lighting's not the best, I know, but yeah, that will do the trick. Okay, let's do the after of my touch-up paint. Let's take a look at the wall. Wow, that looks pretty good. Okay guys, thank you for watching our video on how to do touch up paint. Let's review real quick. When you come in the house, cut a little sample off the wall. Take that sample of Sherman Williams or any paint company. Yeah, I just like Sherman Williams. Have them do a match for you and come back and paint the wall. Don't paint the whole wall, but I do recommend maybe putting the paint lines above the side of your eyesight and that'll help it blend in and create that illusion that the wall has been painted. And that's a great way to offer your customers a cheaper paint job. I can do the full paint job for X amount, I can do a touch up paint job for this amount. So that's a great thing you can do. Or if it's your own home, you probably don't have to paint the whole thing. Just do some touch up paint. All right, guys, for more tips, please subscribe to our channel. And we'll see you next time on How Do I Clean? Which today, How Do I Paint?